Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Lisa Nandy is a moron who needs to be kept on a leash and certainly never allowed out on her own as far as the Labour Party is concerned. She can't help herself, of course. She's incredibly thick and so every time she opens her mouth, the stupid pours out. Well, after the car crash interviews last week where she was trying to defend Keir Starmer over all the freebies and gifts and bribes, etc., she herself, on a TV interview said, I never accept free gifts from donors, she said. Uh, Well, that's not entirely true, is it, Lisa? Because within hours of you saying that, um, a clothing firm came out, it's a a luxury fashion uh, agency, came out and said, oh no, we were lending her clothes during the campaign. Yes, they weren't gifts in terms of her keeping them, but she was certainly gifted the use of them. Because, you know, she likes to look her best. Let me tell you, take a lot more than a few nice frocks to make her look her best. But, um, you know, apparently she was loaned this, this luxury clothing, claiming, claiming that she never took anything. What a liar. What an absolute, two-faced, hypocritical liar. She has subsequently changed the entry on her list of MPs' interests. Because, you know, damn it, I'll have to do the right thing now that I've been found out. Why do they lie about these things? They must know the truth will come out. Or do they really think that nobody is going to fact-check them? (coughs) This is the Labour Party, for heaven's sake. We fact-check everything. Nobody believes a word they say. Um, the, the agency is called the 233 agent, or the sorry, the 223 agency. Um, and it's a communications agency for luxury and contemporary fashion brands. And lists a whole load of posh brands, posh rock brands. Uh, and this was said, I haven't accepted free clothes from a donor, she said. I haven't, and I don't, and I won't. And then... In their donation kind, loan of clothing, at the time of registration, the estimated value is below the registrable threshold. That's because she didn't buy it. But the loan, it was there. What is wrong with her? What is absolutely wrong with these people? They must think we zip our heads up the back. But there she is, caught out again. So next time you see Lisa and Andy on the telly, just know... You can't believe a word she says because, and I can do this quite without an allegedly, you know, she's a liar. Thanks very much. Bye.